The IEC, International Electric Technical Commission, XGB PLC, developed by LS Electric, offers a convenient programming interface using the XG5000 software and ladder diagram format. The widely used industrial PLC language is known for simplicity and intuitiveness. The PLC can be programmed in four of the five official languages specified in the IEC standards. Previously, a setup involving green and red LED push-button switches was integrated, wired and tested with our LS Electric XGB PLC XEM-DN32H2 unit. We will continue creating, downloading and testing a start-stop circuit using ladder logic in our controller. Monitoring the ladder logic program with the XG5000 provides a user-friendly experience and familiar tools. Let's get started. Detailed information contained in this video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you at video 1. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. XGB PLCs are programmable logic controllers widely used in industrial automation to control machinery and automate processes in industries such as manufacturing, automotive, and energy. Ladder Logic is the most common programming language used to program PLCs. It is named after the graphical representation of the program which looks like a ladder with two vertical rungs and a series of horizontal rungs between them. Each rung represents a specific action or condition. The logic flows from left to right, top to bottom. The conditions of the previous rung are available for the next rung. Previously we installed the programming software on our computer and established communication to the XEM DN32H2 controller using an Ethernet connection. We then wired and tested green and red lighted push button switches. This ensures the wiring was correct and the PLC read the signals. Start a new project. Once the software is installed, begin a new project and define the hardware configuration for our PLC. Start the XG5000 programming software. We can start a new project by selecting the icon on the main menu. This can also be done by selecting the main menu, Project, New Project. Or by using the shortcut combination of Control plus N. The new project window will be displayed. Enter a name for the new project. You will see the default directory in which our program will be stored. Under the heading PLC, ensure we select the make and model of our LS Electric PLC we will be programming. This is the XGB IEC series, XEM-DXXXH2 type, and we will leave the LSPLC name as the default. Under the program heading, we will select the program's name and the programming language. We will leave this as the default name and ensure the language is set for Ladder Logic Diagram, or LD. Select OK. Note, as we program, ensure that you select Save often. This can be done with a main menu icon or main menu project save. Assign names to inputs and outputs. Documentation is a critical component of any programming language. In the XG5000 programming software project window, double click on the global direct variables under the LS PLC. We can now enter the variables for our inputs and outputs that we wired previously to our XGB PLC. Create the Ladder Logic Diagram Program. Return to our Ladder Logic Diagram Programming window. You will notice all the Ladder Logic Diagram icons for us to use in our program. Select the F3 Normally Open Contact. Click on the workspace where you want this contact to be located. The Select Variable window will now be displayed. Select the Start variable where we just named and select OK. This contact will now show on our workspace. Our stop input will now be put next to our start contact. Since the stop push button is wired normally closed, we will use a normally open contact. 
Select the output contact F9 and click on location after the stop input. Select the green LED variable and OK. This will automatically draw a line to the right hand side of the rung. We can place the normally open or contact under the start contact. This will be the input for our green LED variable. In a start stop circuit, this is called the ceiling contact. Since the start input is momentary, we must ensure that the green LED light stays on. Once the green LED light is on, this will essentially bypass the start and the only input to stop the output will be the stop contact. Our second rung of the ladder logic code will look at the normally closed contact of the green LED and then output the red LED. This ensures that we have either the red or green LED lights on at all times. The end statement marks the end of the ladder logic diagram. It instructs the PLC to move on to the next part of the scan. Save the program that we have just created. In the project window on the left hand side of the XG5000 programming software, you will see our new program under the scan program options. Right click on this and select properties. The program window will now be displayed. We can enter a new name and description for our ladder logic diagram. Transfer the program. We will now transfer the ladder logic program to our XGB PLC. Select Connection Settings from the main menu online. The Connection Settings window will now be displayed. Since we do not know the IP address of the XGB PLC, select Network Browsing. On the Network Browsing window, expand the Ethernet option. This will instruct the software to look onto the network and report back all the IP addresses for the PLCs connected. Select the one found and select OK. Returning to the connection setup window, we can now select Connect. The bottom of the XG5000 software will show red, indicating that PLC has stopped scanning the program. It could also be green, indicating that PLC is running and scanning the program. Select Write from the main menu online. The Write to PLC window will be displayed. We will leave everything as a default and select OK. Our program will now transfer to the XGB PLC. Messages will indicate if any errors have occurred and when the writing is complete. Select OK. Since we changed the IP setting of the default DHCP, our IP address for the controller has changed. Connect again to the PLC using the same method we used last time. Monitor the program. Once connected to the PLC, change the controller's mode to run. This will execute our ladder logic diagram. Select the run icon on the main menu. A message will be displayed asking if you want to change the run mode. Select yes. Our program is now running. Select the monitor icon on the main menu to start monitoring our ladder logic diagram in the XG5000 programming software. The two conditions will be displayed as solid blocks and the label will be red. Call up monitor one and enter the inputs and outputs. Operate the push buttons to ensure that our start-stop circuit is working as expected. We can monitor the conditions on our ladder diagram and monitor one display. This lets us catch any errors or issues before commissioning the PLC in the field. The XGB PLC ladder logic programming provides a powerful and intuitive way to control industrial processes and machinery.
You can create sophisticated programs to automate various applications with the right software and a solid understanding of ladder logic principles. I hope this has been a helpful introduction to creating your first program using XGB PLC Ladder Logic Diagram. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button to get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.